Welcome to American Made Classics. This is my 1984 AMC Eagle. As you can see, it's got the nice lichen on it, you know, the moss. You may be asking yourself, Smiley, what are you doing with this car? Well, as you saw in the last video or a previous video further back, Rob said that he gave me this car for a birthday slash Christmas present, which I still can't believe he did that. Um, especially since he smashed my taillight out already, you know, he's roughing me up. But uh, this is one of the Swamp Eagles we pulled out of uh, mid-southern Adams County, Wisconsin. Sitting with two other cars. This car is the most solid of the cars as far as rust-wise. This one doesn't have the suspension falling out of it like the other two do. As far as I know, it hasn't been on the road since 1998, 1999, give or take, is when the last title was signed over. Um, so the exterior is going to get a good clean out with just some all-purpose cleaner and some car wash after that. But the inside, I'll tell you what, you can't be in this car for more than about 30 seconds. Because it just has the most rat, poop, pee smell ever. Um, what we did already is we ripped out the headliner because that was the bulk of the smell. You know, never mind the rat droppings on the floor. But pulled out the headliner, saved the headliner board to get recovered in the future. Um, the stuff on the seat, this splotchy, I'm assuming that's rodent urine and feces mix. I mean, there's droplets, but I think that's mainly urine. Um, that's going to be a good couple hours of cleaning. And actually, we already hit the back seat a little bit. And the back seat is turning out pretty nice. So a couple more coats of the cleaner we got on it, which you'll see up later in the video, and a good conditioner on the vinyl it is upcoming. Um, so the 1984 Eagle, it's a fourth year incarnation of the model. Technically it's the fifth year. 80, yeah. 81, 82, 83, 84. Okay, fifth year, sorry. Um, by this time, it still had the standard 258, which the car has. These have 994 automatics. 998. 998 torque flights. I'm not sure what the torque, the transfer case is. Uh, 231, I believe. Okay, so an MP231 with, a, you said, an AMC 15 bolt in the rear? Yep. Or, okay. And the front differential is a... 30. It's a Dana 30 with CV axles. That's actually pretty cool to see. This engine in the car is currently locked up. The valve cover was off of it when we picked it up, and the whole valve drains nothing but rust. We don't know how long it doesn't hadn't had a uh, valve cover on it. And I spent about two seconds putting a pry bar or a uh, without breaker even, bar without trying any penetrance or anything. Yeah. Uh, breaker bar in the crank, and it didn't move. Um, I plan on taking the radiator out at some point and putting a big one on it and seeing if it will break free. Either way, the car is going to probably end up with an engine from the other Swamp Eagles, whatever one is the best. And that's going to be, of course, gone through all gaskets, oil pump timing chain, all the basic kind of stuff that's going to be easier to do with it out of the car versus in the car. So then uh, we can kind of walk around the car here. You saw some of the underside in the videos of picking these three cars up. And uh, you can kind of notice, you can see, I didn't notice until Rob pointed this out. This car did get hit in the front uh, right corner at some point in its life. So the bumper's kind of pushed in there. We'll have to figure out how to either space that bumper out or I don't Pro think Maybe even properly repair it. Yeah, we'll have to see. There is some patches on the front rail here that they're decent, but they're nothing I would say that is unsafe to drive on right now. I, it definitely demands improvement. Um, this fender we thought was a different one because there's a, it's a slight shade difference. You really can't tell right now, but when it's pretty sunny out, it's slightly a different shade. Which, at some point, if I find a nice brown fender that doesn't have these rusts, I'm assuming it's a little bit worse underneath the flares, but it's good enough for now. Um, I plan on doing a whole front suspension rebuild on it. So that's including sourcing the very troublesome lower ball joints with which Rob already has, thankfully. We, we got them already. So I plan on going through the whole front end along with the engine, probably do that when it's out. 
the engine's out, so it's a little bit easier to kind of work underneath it. Um, as far as transmission, probably just do a basic service on it. So pan gasket, filter, fluid, uh, make sure there's no big chunks or anything hanging out in the trans pan. Uh, just so if we got to locate another transmission, we can, which I'm hoping that's you fine. You got quite a few laying around. Just a few. I got a whole, I got... I could I got five that I can think of that are laying around that are not in cars that are in cars okay. <laughs> uh, and then it's a drain and fill in the transfer case make sure there's nothing surprising there front diff service rear axle service also um, rear end stuff as long as the V spring bushings aren't totally bad they'll probably stay the same uh, for now u-bolts if they're fine they'll be there so next you'll see me starting to clean this car up a little bit and uh, hopefully making it look a little bit more presentable on the inside and the outside because uh i didn't want to work on it with this smell i'm sure rob didn't want to be anywhere near this car helping with the smell either um you see what kind of cars i revive yeah i'm pretty used to I, did you see conley when we first started on it uh, I think so, but did they have a distinctive it wasn't, smell? It like wasn't. This? It wasn't as bad as this one. Yeah, but it was still pretty bad. But for the most part, all a lot of the trim is here, which is amazing. There's a couple things on the dash I need to replace and repair, which like the glove box door. One I'm thing I just there's noticed there's a hinge there or something that breaks. It which, always, it's always the left one. Yep, and it always sags on the left side. And one thing I noticed: this thing does not have tilt. Yep, so that's kind of it. Look, like one thing I noticed this thing is a base model, so it does not have a roof rack, but it does have air conditioning, which I thought was kind of weird. And it also has the light group, so it's got the little uh, uh, push buttons or push tabs for turning the dome light on when you open the rear doors. And it would also have under the hood, it has the light too. So I thought it was kind of weird how the options were uh, taken on this car. It's got the base model vinyl seats. Now, if it was the regular model, like the DL, you would have got cloth. And then above the DL, it would have been limited. And, you would, of course, you would have got leather then. But I thought this car was optioned kind of weird. It doesn't have crew. It does have crews. So it even has crews. It's. It, I will agree. It's a very weird option. But you can kind of tell that whoever, whether it was someone that special ordered this car or it was a dealer just ordering it for stock, um, they had the the creature comforts in mind so cruise control and air conditioning yep, and the base model and then, hubcaps and then the lights were seen so maybe it was a family that were ordering a car and they didn't want the kids to get all hot and sweaty they had the lights so if someone was getting in out of the back or putting groceries in the back you could see so it is a pretty neat car the one thing i'm looking forward to is a uh i don't know would you call it a build sheet or mm -hmm. is it kind of our option I have sheet? found them and it's a build sheet. Okay. It's, it's, when, it's when it's on the line. I have found one in one of my cars in the right rear door. I hear a lot of guys find them under the seats. I've only found one and while yep. I'm, and my Eagles that I've actually went and looking for. And like I said, that was in that right rear door. And that'd be kind of cool to kind of see if this car still has it. It looks relatively unmolested on the inside. So the only thing is, is if the mice got to it. And that's what the other two cars are doing is saving this one. So there'll be another eagle on the road again. Um, the next video will be interior clean, the exterior clean, and the engine bay clean. So I'm looking forward to that pretty, pretty good here. And I hope you are too.